Hey guys, welcome to my first and last plant tour in this apartment. My roommates and I are moving, so I wanted to do one last video before we make that big move in this apartment and show you guys all the plants that I have and who knows, some may not survive the move because the last time I moved into this apartment, there were a few casualties and um, it was, it was a little sad, but hopefully I won't have that issue this time. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the living room area and the dining room area. So let's just get started over here. All right, so we have this little sad staghorn fern that I've had for a while. Um, I This is my first mount job, I guess that you would call it. And it, it's really sad. I'm, I don't even know why I'm showing you guys this, but some of my plants don't look the greatest. and. It, this one's definitely my fault. I I didn't give it the lighting that it requires and the humidity in the living room isn't the greatest. It usually stays around 50% and 60% at the highest. But uh, I might give it away. I might keep it. I don't know. My newer apartments will have a south facing window, which is music to any plant hobbyist ears, but uh, I, I don't want to like get my hopes up and think that the staghorn's gonna get like huge and happy again. I definitely need to mount it on on like a wall plank or something, but we'll see. And over here we have a Fitonia. I don't remember which version this is, but it's like pink and green and it's really cool looking. I usually just water this when it's floppy and it's probably the most easiest plant to take care of. I just set it here and totally forget about it and only water it when it needs to be. This one next to it is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. I got it a few years ago before they were in stores. I actually drove like 60 miles to get a cutting from this lady and um, it grew kind of tall and it had a spider mite problem. <laughs> so I cut it down, uh, obviously I had to clean it and then propagated it and made sure it rooted and this is what it is now. I'm not really happy with the way it's looking but it's alive and it has new growth. I don't know if you can see it, there you go. But yeah, I think it's happy now. Okay, let's move up over here. So this is the fireplace area and it's, it's usually not this dark. It's just overcast right now. But we have this rattlesnake plant, which is a uh, Calathea lancifolia, and it's really, really super easy to take care of. It's probably the easiest like prayer plant I own. Let me move it over here where there's lights, but I think it's beautiful. It's easy. It doesn't crisp like the other Calatheas. It just, it's just happy. Um, the ones that look bad came that way. Okay, so, but all the new growth like this one right here, Looks really good. And like I mentioned out, out here in the living room, the humidity isn't the greatest, but it's thriving. And I have this ZZ Raven. Um, let me see if I can move it. This is, I believe, a Costa Farms Raven. I, I have another one in the kitchen, but this one is beautiful. It's so, full and it was under $20, which is a steal because the one that I purchased be 
the one that I'm gonna show you later was like three, four times more than this one and it's tiny. So I'm really glad that I saw this at Walmart the few times I was there and I think this was a really good deal. <laughs> Next to it is this Musaica. Okay. Oh, okay. I might drop it, so I'm just gonna leave it right here. But this one is really, really pretty, but it's such a slow grower. I also drove like 50, 60 miles to meet some guy to buy this off him. And I got this maybe a year and a year and a half ago because it was just like, you couldn't find this in stores or like online. But found him on some Facebook group and I was like, yeah, I'll buy your plant. And he's like, yeah, okay, cool. And next to it is this really interesting pots that some people find creepy, but inside is a Syndapsis Pictus. I don't remember the rest of it, but it's a Syndapsis plant. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know the lighting's not the greatest right now over here because it is overcast and it's supposed to rain all next week while I'm moving. Yay. And above it is a Aurelia Fabian. This is really, really super easy plant. I don't even know why I said that because I killed my last one, but this one's been alive for a while now and it's huge. It's getting pretty big. I really like it. It's just like, it looks like a, a bonsai tree. And underneath it is this Ficus Audrey. Uh, I bought this, this really, really, really nice Ficus Audrey and it was a steal. Like the price was amazing. Couldn't believe I got it for that price. And when I got it, there was like three of them. Um, it had like, I don't know. It just, it didn't grow. It was like stunted. So I took the plant out and it had three plants in it, but they were all choking each other. Like the roots were just so tangled. I didn't know what to do. Um, so I just chopped it out and like propagate it. So I, this is one of like 10. I know, sad story. And this plant next to it is a, is um, Anthurium bolitis. The newer leaves are really nice. It's, they're pretty big. And this is the newest one. But the old leaves, this one was one of the original leaves. Uh, I think this one, yeah, this one grew when I, when it arrived. Pretty easy plant to like keep when you're talking about like anthuriums. It, I water with tap water and it doesn't brown and it's growing. It looks pretty happy. So I'm just gonna leave it where it is. Well, until I move. And next to it is the uh, Cebu Blue. This one I also got at Walmart. I, um, it's, it's like a lottery when you find a Cebu Blue at a Walmart because people are selling this for insane prices. And mine's really full because I've chopped it so many times and propagated it just so it doesn't look really like stringy. And then um, I'll show you guys in the next video where I put the propagated cuttings in, but this one looks really, really nice. So this one right here is a Tenanth Setosa Gray Star, Tenanthi. Another easy um, prayer plant to keep. I don't really um, 
notice it that much because it's always like in the background. And when I had a spider mite infestation in my room where this plant originally was, it definitely um, was damaged, but now I feel like it's growing again and happy here in the living room. It's definitely a low light plant or medium light plant. It doesn't really like bright light because it started like um, getting these crispy edges. And moving down here, this one is another Tenanth um, Burl Marxii. I think that's the name of it. I got it from Plantarina. If you watched one of my unboxing videos, another super easy plant to take care of. Now this guy, this is a philodendron, philodendron bipenifolium. I bought this plant off of a fellow YouTuber. She is quite well known and it, it was weird because like I bought it from like this app. Um, which app was it? It was like uh, offer up and then um, she didn't have a photo so obviously I didn't know who it was. And when I went to pick it up, I was like shocked that like, hey, I watched like all your videos and she's like, oh yeah, that's cool. And then, um, yeah. So here it is. It took a long time for this plant to um, be happy. Like it, it kept like producing like wonky leaves. So I cut it down a few times. And after a year or so, it started producing normal leaves. Okay, this plant, this one makes me really sad. It is a um, Peperomia prostrata, string of turtles. I realize anything that's string of, I can't keep alive. I think they just need a lot of like lighting, um, like bright indirect light, which um, doesn't work over here because this is a north facing window. But it's, it's, I don't know what to do with it. It's dying a slow, painful death. And next to it is a Monstera dubia or dubia. Not really sure how you pronounce it. It's probably the world's smallest. It's a cutting from my um, mother plant. I'm probably gonna like trade or sell this because I don't really have the time to take care of this baby thing. And up here is the Syngonium Podophyllum albo variegatum, the variegated Syngonium that everybody wants. No, this wasn't from a big box store. Um, I got it, well, it's two, like, it's like four cuttings in one plant. I bought two cuttings from somebody and I like went to their house at like one in the morning to buy it. <laughs> this was before like you could order it online because I just couldn't find a seller. And she was like, yeah, I have cuttings. So they were like two tiny little twigs. They just had roots. They didn't even have like leaves on them. I just believed her. I was like, hey, I'll, I'll buy it. Um, and they're, they're pretty happy. As you can see, they're just like, constantly growing. And then the other two were cuttings that I got from, I think from Asian Plants Export. Not sure if you guys saw that video, but I just decided to merge into one giant pot. So it looks like one full plant. And then below it is another um, Raphidophora. But this one, I was told, is not a tetrasperma. This one is a um, pertusa. And I'm not really sure. It's just people tell me things online. I don't, I try to like do my own research, but this one does look a little different. It's like pointier, if that makes any sense. Like the leaves are, are shaped differently. And next to it is one of my favorite plants. It's, I think it's really understated. 
It's the philodendron martinum, aka fat boy. Um, online, a lot of people said it's really popular in like Brazil or like South America, like everybody has one and it's like super easy to take care of, which is like 100% true. I literally like leave it alone and it just grows. It was imported. Um, the leaves that it had were like ugly, so I, I chopped them off. And obviously I was like very careful on like not chopping them all off at the same time, like slowly just making sure that it's like healthy and developing. But um, these are like plants, the leaves that like grew out from like in my care. And I'm like really proud of them because it's just, it's a really slow growing plant. Like it produces a leaf every like month or two. Above it is my um, Monstera Edisoni. And this one, I ordered it from eBay. <laughs> I bought like cuttings from this like account that sold a bunch of um, cuttings and it originally had like four leaves. It's two cuttings and the original leaves are all gone. This is what's what it's created. Um, I don't know, it, it used to look a lot better, but I think because I am like notorious for underwatering my plants, cause there's just too many. Um, so totally my fault. I should be taking care of them better, but it's, it's still alive. And then over here, we have one of my newer plants. I can't ever pronounce the Latin name or scientific name, but it's a fern leaf cactus and it's finally growing. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, those two little leaves growing out of it are brand new. I was really worried that I'm gonna kill this plant because um, it wasn't cheap because I rarely ever see this and I thought it was really cool. And then next to it is a bird's, like a, what is it? Bird nest fern, yeah. It is um, not like a super big, like it's not a huge plant, but it, it was bigger. But then I like gave it a shower and the shower head was so strong that it bent the plant. Um, so just as a warning, if you guys have um, plants and you want to give it a shower, be very, very careful. Don't make the same mistake I did. But other than that, it, it has new growth happening, so I didn't kill it. <laughs> okay, let's look at this one in this corner. I bought this from Trader Joe's, which is um, a grocery store, if you guys are unfamiliar. Uh, it's a Monstera Deliciosa or a Borsigiana. I have no idea. They just said it's a Monstera. This one also from Trader Joe's. It's a very, very sad, like Japanese bird's nest fern. It's dead or it's dying. Totally my fault because I have no idea how to care for it. I thought it would be just like this one, but apparently not. It's, it's just, it hates me. And this is one of my favorite planters. It's a llama. I, I'm usually not into like animal planters, but this one's really cute. I just, I had a plant in it. I don't remember what it was, but it died. And this is a Syndapsis trubii moonlight. It is not from Costa Farms. It is not from a big box store. It's actually, two or three cuttings that I bought from different sellers. And this thing grows so freaking slow. Like I've had one of the cuttings for like almost a year and it produced like one leaf or two leaves. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's just a really slow growing plant, but oh, like I, I, I'm like, should I drop like $50 and buy one from Costa that's like full, which I think is kind of overpriced. 
I'm sure it's gonna like flood the market sooner or later because people are getting them for like 20 bucks at like in Florida. But I'm in California where we don't get the best selection. So moving on to the plants here by the window. Um, they are usually facing the other way, but I turn them around. That way you guys get to see them. But I usually have them face the other way, so the uh, foliage faces the light directly. Uh, let's start with this Monstera Peru. Isn't it just gorgeous? One of my favorite plants for sure. Not from a big box store. This plant has about three or four cuttings in it. It's looking pretty good. Now this plant right here is a philodendron, no ID because I was told there is no official plant, but I was sold this plant under, um, as a philodendron pastazanum mamii hybrid, which you can totally tell that um, it does have characteristics from both plants. It's beautiful. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> this is one of the original leaves. It's kind of droopy, but I think it's because it's just pushed out these three leaves within like three months and it's winter right now, but there's still, it's still pushing out growth, as you can see. Now this plant, I, I'm like, if I had buyer's remorse, it'd be this plant. It's um, a philodendron brantianum. It just, it's just, it's taking forever for it to acclimate. The leaves are pretty, but like, look at this. Like it took forever. Like every leaf that it produced, um, I don't know if that, oh yeah, there's one example right there. Like look at this one. Like they're just all wonky. Hopefully this plant will recover um, from, I don't know what kind of issues it's going through, but either that or I'm just gonna sell or trade it because I'm over it. Down here we have a Hoya obovada. It's really cute. I love it. I'm not even into Hoyas, but they're so easy to care for. I water it maybe like every two, three weeks and it hasn't died and hasn't like, it's still growing. Like this one's like all new growth right here. <laughs> and this one is a Hoya Curiae. Like, I, I don't know, it's not like one of my favorites. I know with cute heart-shaped leaves, but it's it's different when compared to like the circular speckled obovada. Now moving on to one of my favorite plants that I own. It's a jewel orchid. It's the Ludicia this color. And it is beautiful. Beautiful. It's also flowering right now. Also super, super easy plant to care for. I also have this pot that like matches it perfectly. I think it's like the flower of life or something. I, I don't remember what, what that pattern is, but it matches this plant really well. Uh, 
Okay, now this plant, uh, I don't, this is my third one. I don't know why, I just don't have the best of luck with the, these Palias. They just, they just don't like me. But this one is a really slow growing one. I also underwater it because um, a few pups of it died. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. This plant, well, there's two. I imported this in the summer and it didn't sh start growing until like, there was no new growth until a month or two ago. Like this one has this leaf happening and this one has like two leaves forming, coming out soon. Oh, I didn't mention what this plant was. It's a Anthurium radigans dressrelli hybrid. To me, it's like a poor man's Anthurium um, luxuriance, which I cannot afford. I don't have like a grand sitting around for that plant, but it kind of has the same texture. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I want to keep though. Probably the one on the right, but I don't know. Behind it is a Dracaena. I know nothing about Dracaenas. All I know is that this plant was tiny when I got it. I bought like three of them and put them together in one nursery pot. And it's, it's it grew kind of out of control in like two, three months. And then moving on to this plant right here. This is a Spathophyllum Peace Lily Domino. It is variegated. I do want the other one that everybody is looking for. Um, it's definitely very popular on certain plant accounts on Instagram, but it's the um, Peace Lily uh, Picasso. And their variegation is like more, more closely, um, like it looks more like how a variegated Albo um, Monstera looks. But this will do for now. And then up here, we got these two basic plants. I am not a fan of pothos, but I do love this. Epiprenum aurum pothos enjoy. It's, it's really, I don't know. It's just one of those plants that it's non-fussy and it just grows really quickly. Um, I had another plant in this planter that didn't do so, so well because like the lighting, as you can see, isn't the greatest over there. But so far it's doing all right. Next to it, we have a Philodendron Brazil. Don't really have much to say about it. It's just, it's, it is what it is. Okay, let's move on over here. Okay, hey, this messy area. <laughs> um, so I know Sansevieria have been reclassified under Dracaena, so I don't even know the names of it, but these are two snake plants. One is my roommate's and this one's mine. I still have the little wooden stick in it because I ordered this online and I just kept it there because I remember um, it was like an inch taller than all the leaves. I guess it was like sticked in the box to protect it so it doesn't break. And I just kept it there because it's like nice to measure how far it's growth grown. And um, it doesn't get any direct light at all because the window's right there and there. 
but it's growing. Okay. Over here we have a Calathea Orbifolia. That doesn't look the greatest. This was a gift and I don't, I can't like get rid of it because it was a gift. Uh, it just, it always had wonky growth, but the newest leaf does look much better. So there is hope. This one doesn't have like those weird, like wrinkly edges that the other leaves have. And I don't know why that happens. So if you guys know why this happens to Orbifolias, because I've owned many and uh, it seems to be a problem on some of them, but not all of them. And then up here are plants that I usually ignore. Um, <laughs> this one on the left is not mine. It is my roommate's. It is a Aglonema Silver Bay, like a Chinese, Chinese evergreen plant. You see them at malls. They're like, I don't know. They're just there. This one's pretty happy. And the light up there isn't the greatest either, but it's doing okay. So this is the ZZ Raven that I told you I got online a long time ago for like a lot of money. Um, it is what it is. Like it, it's happy. It's not dead. Unlike this one right here. This one always hates me. This is one of my like oldest plants that I own and it's still tiny because I neglect it so much. But this is a peace lily, just the basic normal one. I'll probably give it to a friend before I move or my mom. That way it like, I don't know, has a better life. Um, that's it for in here. Now we're gonna move outside, but first I'm gonna <laughs> clear out that trash bag. Um, just as a warning, it's, it's really bad out there. There's, there's no hose like water down the front and it just rain and it's always windy and it's always dirty. But I am gonna clean that up and then show you guys what's out there. Okay, so this is my patio area. It's really messy as I mentioned. Um, our, our new place does not have a patio so I'm gonna miss having this little area and um, I'm probably gonna have to sell or give these plants away because there's just there's just no way I could keep them which is kind of sad so let's just start off with this one over here this is a ficus elastica um, yeah not one of my favorites but I've had this for a while it was really small and I just kept it because it's, it's happy, I think, even though it's disgusting out here. It's just, I never clean it. I literally, all I do is I water it and it's growing. I know, well, I'm a horrible plant parent. And then over here is a pothos. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of pothos, not because there's anything wrong with them, they just don't excite me. But I do keep them because I cut off cuttings when I, water propagate plants because apparently they help promote like um, rooting so I I don't know if that's true or not but um, all of my water propagate plants have rooted well I'd say in like 95% of them usually have a 95% chance of successfully rooting them in water and um, there's a marble queen neon and uh, golden pothos all in one. Next to it is a bird of paradise. I don't even like this plant. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's just, it's here. Maybe I'll give it to a friend because I do have a friend who really wants one. And then uh, over here is a really large ZZ plant, just the regular type. I 
like it except I think it doesn't like being outside because it's been really cool lately and I don't water it any differently than the other ZZs but it's been dropping leaves so hopefully it doesn't have a pest problem I don't think it does but um, it needs some help down there is a ficus audrey one of many and then this is my fiddle leaf fig. Um, I actually have one inside and I don't think I showed it to you guys. I must have forgot, but this is the one I have outside. Again, it's really dusty. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm horrible. I should take better care of it, but... Oh. Yeah. Another Ficus Audrey, we'll just ignore them. Um, this is a Hamalamina Maggie. It's doing all right. Uh, when I order it from like, I ordered it from eBay a few years ago and I had no idea like where it was coming from, but apparently it came from Thailand and it didn't have a phytosanitary certificate. They just shipped it as like a gift. And when it got here, it had some roots, but all the leaves were cut off. So I don't know if like they sent it that way or if customs did it, but it took forever for it to like grow these leaves. And then it had like some like mite problem, um, probably from like me not taking care of it well enough and uh, it had to be cut back but now it's like okay um, it's just it's poisonous towards like dogs I know I have like a few in there that are like mildly poisonous too and toxic to like children and animals but I do keep my dogs away from them but this one apparently is like really toxic so I keep it out here this one's another uh, ficus elastica this one I really like because it's just it's, it, it's colorful, also very dirty. <laughs> and this is my greenhouse. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it, but you don't really need to see what's inside. It just has a few like Fulden Birkins, um, another Peace Lily Domino, and a Ficus Audrey. <laughs> and some cuttings, I don't remember what they are. And then over here we got this plant. I don't know what it is. It's, I think it's like a kangaroo paw plant. It's one of my favorites, but I see it every day, obviously when I come home or when I leave the house. Super easy. I will miss this one the most from all the plants out here. Maybe I'll give this to my mom. She'll enjoy it. And then, Last but not least is this String of Tears. I'm pretty sure it's String of Tears because I, I looked up like how um, String of Pearls look and String of Beads. And this one's slightly, it's like shaped differently, not as round. Yep, and that's everything out here. Okay, before you guys go, I forgot to feature this fiddly fig that's in my house. This one is cleaner, obviously, because I do try to wipe off the dirt, except for this one over here, because um, this one's always dropping crap on it, but it's very, very cute and happy, and I can't wait to figure out where I'm gonna put it in the new apartment. All right, so hopefully you guys like this plant tour of the living room area. Um, this one, this video has gone a little longer than I expected. So part two will be my bedroom and bathroom plants. All right, see you guys next time, bye.